Zay Jones was out of the red non-contact jersey. He was a full go for the first time this camp and said it felt really good to get some contact. Assumably, he was not talking about the fight he had with Micah Hyde, something both guys brushed off. It's been a long road back for Zay, something fellow wideout Kelvin Benjamin can identify with. You were excited, but at the same time, you know, you got to just trust, you know, trust, uh, trust the training room, man. Trust your coaches, trust they're going to take care of you. But at the same time, once you out down the field, you know, just go, just give it to y'all. Don't try to baby it, just go. Being away from the game gives you an appreciation of the game. So just loving the game again, um, realizing the reasons that I play, and overall improvement upon my game. I think um, the team got a good plan for them, though, you know what I'm saying? They're not just throwing them out there. They're they, they easing them in. Um, but he's doing a great job with it, man. He, 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 worked, he worked his ass off. I would say I, I've learned more mentally and physically about myself and moving ahead. And that's just the leaps and bounds that you take as the seasons go by as a professional. Nate Peterman and A.J. McCarron both practiced in fall after dings yesterday, although none of the three quarterbacks really distinguished themselves on Monday. Josh Allen had an ugly falling away interception, and Peterman closed out practice with a pick at the goal line in a hurry-up drill. With the Bills Report at St. John Fisher College, I'm Thad Brown.